Hello, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do dynamic painting in Unity. So what I have here is just an empty project but with a simple, um, with a simple level. I just made a simple level so that we can play on it. And that's just a basic, like it's just made of cubes here, see? It's just made of three cubes and then um, I also have a camera look script. I made one. Uh, we can move around and we can look around. So, yeah, so let's begin. So first, what we need to do is we need to create a script. We need to create a script that would um, be attached to any paintable object. So let's call this paintable script Oops. paintable script okay and we want the three things the our level the whole level to be paintable so we can we attach it to the uh, to all the three objects now we open this up um Okay, so what we need to do is, so the basic idea here is every object will have a render texture with it. And then um, every object would also have a camera with it. So what, um, each, each camera will render only that single object. And it will render um, whatever the position that we're, we're clicking on, it will render that part of the object onto the render texture to be whatever other color so that will be our mask so let's make a render texture called mask texture. okay and then we also need a camera and we call this uh, M camera okay. so we can even just call it mask camera okay um yeah so let's create these things so first let's make a texture so mask texture is equals to new render texture and we're only gonna have 256 times 256 depth is well, how many bits let's do 8 bits depth and then we do um render texture format dot argb argb32 okay now mass camera we do um game object actually just game object and game object is equals to new game object camera obj now this camera object and game object dot add component we'll add a camera to it and this camera will be in the mask camera. So, okay. Now we need this camera to only render to the render texture. So we do mask camera dot target texture is equals to mask texture. Okay, done. Now, everything we render from this camera, oh, and then we need to disable mass camera dot enable this equals to false because we don't want it to render every time. We only want it to render when we tell it to render. So now we need, we need to make another layer. We need to make another layer so that the camera, the mask camera can only render this particular layer that we want it to render. So paintable layer. Okay, and we make 
these three objects to be in this layer and then we set the we set the mask camera to only render that particular layer so what we can do is so we can change the culling mask of the camera to only render the layer that we tell it to, re to render so what we can do is mask camera dot culling mask is equals to that and this part will be whatever layer that we wanted to render and right now we wanted to render the paintable layer so because that's what we have here right these three objects are in the paintable layer so um yeah so so we want it to render the paintable layer so now um okay so since we want this camera to not clear the the image like every time because we want it we want like whatever we've painted before to stay on it and we don't want it to disappear so what we need to do is mask camera dot uh, clear flags is equals to camera clear flags camera clear flags dot uh nothing because we don't want it to render uh we don't want it to clear at all right so so now Oh, actually, let's do 512 for these. 512. 512. And we don't want 8 bits because we don't really need depth. So, anyways. Um, yeah, so once we get that done. Now, when we play it, right? When we play it now. You can see there are three camera objects created. Okay. And these camera objects only render the the ones um, the the three things the 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 level the three cubes that are in the level. It doesn't render anything else. It doesn't have a skybox. You can see here in the camera preview. See, there's nothing. It's just the things that we render into it. So, and also it's disabled, so it's not rendering anything actually. But um yeah so now what we need to do is we need to uh set a replacement shader for the camera what is this replacement shader well we wanted to use this one shader to render to the mask and that is it we just wanted to render to the mask and that's it so so what we can do is let's create a shader uh standard shader and let's name it um mask shader okay Open it up. okay so we don't need a lot of these so we don't need okay we don't need the cg program till here so we don't need that um pass and I assume you already know how to write shaders because this tutorial is pretty advanced. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to write the shader here. For vertex transition, and we want the what the texture coordinates as well. So put float to UV of type text chord zero, and we do. Uh, Struct right out, and we want the output to have. So we want the output to have um, the world position, which is uh, flow four. I mean the 
the position that was already transformed into the camera space. So float for uh, pause sv underscore position. And then uh, we want the UV coordinates. So UV um, context chord zero. And then we want uh, the world position. So float for uh, world pause text chord one. So now we can write the functions uh, vert out vert vert in I um let's do V here so vert out O and we return O and then O dot row pause is equal to multiply we make C underscore matrix underscore MVP and V dot vertex. This will transform the object space coordinates of the model into world space. And we will have all the vertex information in this. And then O dot UV is equal to V dot UV. And then we do um, change the UV coordinates. So V dot UV is equal to V dot UV multiplied by multiplied by 2 point oh, and then minus 1 point that will map it from uh, negative uh, from 0 to 1 to negative 1 to 1 and after that we want to assign these UV coordinate values to be the vertex position so that it would like fill out the whole screen so V dot vertex dot x is equals to v dot uv dot x and then v dot vertex dot y is equals to v dot uv dot y the negative of that because it has to be flipped because of the rendering thing and then v dot vertex dot z is equal to 1. That way when we do perspective division it will not divide it with anything. Oh and also for it to not divide it by anything we need to make the camera an orthographic camera. So let's go back to the paintable script and let's do mass camera dot is ortho, uh, orthographic orthographic yeah orthographic is true and then we can set the orthographic size to like let's say 10 F. um yeah so let's go back to the shader let's go back to the shader and then yeah at this point of time we can just do o dot pause which is this one o dot pause is equals to v dot vertex okay so that way um our models will be unwrapped and then uh it will the texture coordinates will fill up the whole screen so now what we can do is let's um let's write the fragment function so float for frag Vert out O color. Now let's render. Now here's where it gets tricky. So what we can do is we need to render the spots that we click on. Okay, but for now let's just make it red. So return one or let's make it white. And let's see what happens. Go back to this and we need to set the replacement shader. So let's make the 
public shader uh, mask shader and then we say mask camera dot set replacement shader mask shader up things so it will replace everything but for now let's render um yeah sure let's render mask camera dot render okay let's see what happens let's go to each of these and let's get the shader so yeah see it's all white see it's all white and over here it's all white and over here it's all white so now let's change the color and let's see if it still does that let's change the color now so four one zero zero one it should all be red now let's see Red, 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 perfect. Okay, so that's the first part of creating a dynamic painting in Unity. And in the next part, we're going to be actually drawing on the render textures. Right? See you. Peace.